All right, everybody. Welcome back to True Crime Loser. It's good to be here. If you would like to support the show, there's a working Patreon link in the description. I would really appreciate it. Also, there's a link to my comedy channel in the description, too. All right, so today, Jody Arias is in the hot seat. Uh, just since it's been over the weekend, let's do a little recap. Last video was primarily the detective laying forth the evidence, which is there's a bloody palm print. Her hair was there, Stephen. There's hair everywhere. She's got bloody hair and just hair everywhere. Her big defense for she she could explain the hair. I can explain the hair. Okay, Jody, go ahead, explain the hair. And she was like, "Is there a way that we could like do a drug test and maybe measure the time?" That's it. That was the defense. Maybe we could measure the time. Next time your boss is like, I'm going to need you to come in early tomorrow, you could be like, well, maybe it, it's possible, but we would have to measure the time. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work tomorrow, but thank you for helping me. So she's trying to measure some time. Uh, it happens. And then... The detective is essentially like, Jody, you can keep on telling this story until you're blue in the face, but I'm not going to believe you. I 100% think you did this, and uh, I will not believe you, which is a strange place to be in when you're sitting there talking to a homicide detective, and you're sitting there like, what if we measured the time? That could be something. We could, if we do a drug test even though no one cares if I was on drugs or anything, but then we could measure time. Surely we could measure the time. And, um, and she's, she's, she has like three different, almost personalities through this thing. The one is just the deny, make up weird stuff like, hey, like if I turned right before Vegas, maybe that's why I have 18 hours of time that no one can account for. That is exactly the same time where Travis was murdered, but maybe we could measure it. So she has this like outlandish story personality and then she'll snap out of that into this like, so if I did do this, and her voice changes, and so she'll be like, she'll be like, I, uh, you know, I went to Vegas, and then I, I slept, and then my phone charger rolled under the seat, and then 18 hours went by, and that's it, and then, you know, she'll get a little pressure from the detectives being like, Jody, the hair is there, Jody, Jody, and, and then what that will cause her to snap out of it maybe just for a second and she go like high pitch like and then I turned right before Vegas and then I got lost and then it'll snap and she'll be like all right so say if I did do this what's the penalty like she goes from like I turned before Vegas and my phone charger disappeared to all right if I get found guilty of this what's the penalty come on you know the sentence he the detective's like i don't know and she's like you know the sentences come on like it's a whole different and then so it goes from so that's another one is the like if i did do this i would have wore gloves i got plenty of gloves to also to like the bizarre mundane where she's talking about like you know, maybe the bloody palm print came from, I had a slice on my hand. I do pick up glass a lot. A lot of people look at picking up glass as a dangerous activity, but it really is, is nothing to be afraid of. I do it all the time. And then she'll pop out of that and be, go back to the, okay, if I did do this, let's just say I did do this for a second. And it's, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone in interrogation pop into that like all right let's just pretend that i did do this for a second and then we measured some time i took a drug test 
and then uh, you checked your pictures. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing for the recap. As the detective has a giant binder of pictures, which he's not afraid to check. So anytime she's like, I just wasn't there. I didn't kill him at all in my life. I didn't take his life at all. Um, he can be like, well, let's check the pictures, Jody. This one is of you totally naked. And she's like, that does look like me. And he's like, yeah, it is you. It's all of you. Look at it, Jody. And um, so he'll check the pictures. Um, one kind of freaky thing, almost like when the Chris, when I think Graham in the Chris Watts interrogation was like, you have an Alexa. Those are programmed to uh, record distress and all of us on this channel were like wait what they're programmed to record and in this one and this is way back in like 2000 uh, early 2000s is he's like their GPS the cars have GPS now that record everywhere you go for us the police so that's another thing it's like great Cool. Glad that that's glad that that exists. But I think he could also just be posturing and maybe that isn't true just to try to get her to um, to confess. But she measures the time instead. And, you know, she's like, the pictures are compelling. That does look like me. So she's having a hard time with the pictures and she comes up with a story in a little bit i don't want to get too ahead of myself but she comes up with a story in a little bit like possibly those were pictures that somebody like doctored yeah jody surely that is what happened and so anytime she gets too like into la la land with her story they check the pictures it's like jody we're checking the pictures you see this one this is you that's your mole the mole was there, Jody. The mole is there. Okay. I think that's my recap. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah. She wanted to check if they could check how fresh the blood was. Her blood. And the detective is obviously like, Jody, there's a bunch of your blood and you hadn't lived there since April and so you know and that's when she goes into there well I break glass all the time at my work a lot of people think it's a big deal but it's nothing to be scared of um okay and then so the detective kind of just I think to move it along to the next chunk is he uses a strategy and we've seen this with Chris Watts, and definitely Russell Williams, but he uses a strategy. Is this where you really want to leave it, Jody? Do you want to be the cold-blooded, lying murderer that has an outlandish story about measuring time? Is that where you want to leave this? Because after this, it's just, you know, you'll be in jail and then the trial, and you don't, you're not going to have another good opportunity to try to show everyone you're not cold you know and she's like well you know I just I did and sh she'll go it'll almost look like she's about to confess where she's like you know she'll say something like if I did confess right now then what would happen and then there'll be a pause and she's like I just can't I just can't confess to something that I didn't do at all I didn't at all take his life in my life at all and just like other, it's just, it, it sounds. And then he's like, well, you're just not acting right. You're just not acting right. And she's like, well, what, why? It, would it help if I cried? And remember that. And he's like, no, it's not just crying. But she's like, it's funny. She, he's like, she's like, would it help if I cried? Is that why I'm not acting right? And he's like, no, it's, you're just not, nothing that you're doing is acting right. And then in like, 15 minutes, she goes into this long, fake cry. The lie cry. We got a lie cry. I need to mount a lie cry, Belle, so bad. Um, 
just so yeah so he's doing the next time we talk you're gonna be in jail and it's gonna be horrible for you um and he's just saying you're not acting right you know when i asked you if you killed travis you you hesitated and then there's all these little hesitations and if somebody didn't murder someone they they don't act like that they say no are you serious you think i killed travis this is insane this is insane. Hurry up and get me out of this room or bring in another detective because you're an idiot. I obviously didn't kill this guy. So he's basically saying you didn't act. You're not acting right. And I've said it a million times going through these interrogations is you just can't act innocent for three hours. It's impossible. You're going to act weird. You're going to play the game more than an innocent person. Really to act innocent, if you find yourself in an interrogation room, just be mad because a guilty person isn't mad usually that they're in there. They're in there going, all right, how do I measure the time? I'll hold out my hair. We'll do a drug test. Okay. And I'm going to play this game. I'm going to be friends. I'm going to be nice. Like all this stuff. When an innocent person is like, hey, detective, let me out of this room. I didn't do it. I don't care if you got a binder full of pictures. You can check your pictures on your own damn time. Let me out of this room. I didn't do it. I'm not going to sit in here with you. I didn't do it. So, too much playing the game. Um, and then they get back on her... You know, they get back on the story of just like, Jody, that story of you driving around lost and then your phone goes off. It, it doesn't make sense. You know, even if you even if you slept for four hours and then drove in the wrong direction for eight hours and then slept for five hours, it's still there's 20 hours the exact time that doesn't make sense. And then she's like, well, one time... This is her personality where she just tells the story in a nice voice. She's like, well, one time Travis and I were on a road trip and he went to bed and he was like, drive 98.2 miles in this direction. Or maybe it was 98.4 miles, but no, it was 98.2 miles. Yes, it was 90. And he went to sleep and I drove 98.2 miles or maybe it was 98.4. And it's like, who cares, Jody? What are you talking about? And she's like, when he woke up, I had driven in the wrong direction. And so therefore, the hair and the blood and the palm print and the pictures of me murdering Travis are void. And he's like, I don't care about the trip. And I kind of cracked up thinking about, so say Jody didn't kill him and that was actually the trip that she took. <laughs> that ha that's just the most pathetic road trip of all time. Just getting lost and then getting lost again and then she loses her phone and then the car runs out of gas it's like joe if she was with someone it would be like jody you're a nightmare to hang out with can't we've gone in the wrong direction for like two days and you just now we're out of gas we gotta we gotta get our stuff together a little bit jody this isn't we gotta treat ourselves a little bit better jody let me drive okay this is ridiculous. This is the fourth time you've driven in the wrong direction and your phone charger's been lost for two days. That's annoying. That's just annoying. All right, let's keep plowing. Um, another way... Oh, yeah, at one point she goes ta talking about all the pictures and the hair and the blood and everything that's there. She's like... Is there any other way in the universe that it could get there? Is there any other way in the universe? The cop's like, yeah, I guess. He's getting tired. He's He's been in the Jody wormhole for a while. Okay, as long as we can measure the time, you know, it'll be all right, you guys. Speaking of, all right, 14 minutes. Thank God I'm measuring the time. Um, and he's like, have you ever had any anger issues, Jody? Or, and she tells this story about how she kicked a dog once. And it, again, it's just like, what are we talking about? She's like, I don't have any anger issues, but I did kick a dog once. And, 
I was bringing the trash out, and the trash was full of diapers, and the dog uh, ripped the trash bag, and diapers went all over the yard, and I kicked it, and it didn't yelp, but it made a sound, and I, and it's like, Jody, Jody. It's like in, when you're doing stand-up up on stage, they give you a light when you have one minute left, and I, they like flash a phone, or they can turn on a little, and like a little red light pops on. I felt like during Jody's stories, just like give her the light. Like, all right, wrap it up, Jody. Get to your closer. And he's, she's like, yeah, I kicked it once and blah, blah, blah. And the, de- the detective's like, again, I don't really care. That's sad that you kicked a dog, but brutally stabbing someone is more of why we're here. Maybe we could measure a little time and not waste it by telling those stories. Um, And then she's like, she's not doing well. It's not looking well because they got the pictures. They got this big binder of pictures that they can check. And they check them. And so she'll tell a story. She'll go into the like, wait, so if I did do this, don't you think I would wear gloves? I have a lot of gloves. And then she'll tell a long story. And then at this point, she kind of realizes that that's going nowhere. And she goes, she was like, she goes all the way back to the beginning. And she goes, you've been asking me, you've been asking me um, what I've been doing while, um, since the death, since his death. And I've really been trying to put it behind me. And she talks about how she has read The Road Less Traveled, and there's a quote in there of, definition of sanity is dedication to reality at all costs. So she quotes The Road Less Traveled, and the quote she did is, the definition of sanity is to dedication to reality at all costs. And there couldn't be a sentence that describes Jody less than the dedication to sa- sanity to reality at all costs. And so she uh, calls herself insane, basically, by that, because there's no dedication to reality at all. And the detective's eyes are just crossed at this point, like, what? Um, And he's like, yeah, well, that's interesting. But you're being charged with first degree murder. You're getting charged with first degree murder. And he's like talking to her, kind of giving her the lowdown, like first degree murder. And you hear her in this little squared voice go, what's the difference? Like, what's the difference between murder? And then she goes, you know, she's getting desperate. She goes, all my other exes are alive It's like, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Really? All your ex-boyfriends are alive? Uh Uh-oh. Well, then the pictures of you killing them, the hair, the prints, the palm print, the bloody hair, the mixed blood, the pants, all of that is out the window because all your other exes are alive. All my exes are alive. Um, hits her again with, you're just not acting right. And then she goes, I am who I am. I've heard what you heard. I saw what you saw. We're not here for any reason, George. I am who I am. She measured some time and it turns out she is who she is. We really find the meaning of life in some of these quotes. We're not here for any reason. I am who I am. So she's like, I am who I am. And I can't argue with that. It's tough. It's tough to argue with that one. And then she goes, I had nothing to do with his death at all. And that's right out of Chris Watts. The like, I like, had nothing to do with his death at all in my life. Like, like I didn't take, take his life at all. Like, if Travis is somewhere not safe, then like... I just want him to be safe. I just want Travis to come home. So she didn't end, she didn't do anything at all. That seems to be a a way to say guilt as if someone's like I didn't take the cookie at all. 
I didn't even take it at all. The at all defense. And then the detective's like, well, did you, did you have any part of take did you have any part of Travis's death because I think what people can do is like if they pay someone else to do it or if they have someone help them then in their head they can say well I can sit there and say I didn't kill Travis so he's like did you have any part of it maybe you didn't do it did you have any part of it and she's like well and she she's like I didn't but I feel like like have you ever seen the movie the butterfly effect and I was like yes Ashton Kutcher's 2004 thriller butterfly effect gets a shout out this is this is turning into a good interrogation. Anytime that Ashton Kutcher gets a shout out, then we'll pr- hopefully be able to measure that time. Uh, we'll get to that though. Thank you. Um, then he goes back to I just don't want to believe Jody. You're a you're a psycho murderer. Is that where we're leaving it? You just want to be a psycho. Um. And then Jody, like out of nowhere, just goes, How many times was he stabbed? <laughs> oh, Jody. And the, the detective's like, More than I want to remember. I just picture the detective getting home, and the, his wife is like, You're a good detective. And he's like, He was stabbed more than I can remember. She's like, I'll heat up some meatloaf for you. And then Jody starts the big lie cry. She puts her head in her hands because it's fake, and she just starts wailing. And the cop's like, Jody, Jody, stop crying. Um, and she starts asking for favors, like, am I, you know, am I going to be able to call people? Oh yeah, this is the greatest. She was like, this is going to show how like shallow I am. But before I go take my mug shots, he was like, we're going to go arrest you. You'll be booked right now. Before I take a, my photo, could I clean myself up? And he's just like, no. <laughs> no, Jody, you can't. You killed him. And uh, um, let's see. I think I'm just going to skip. All right, you're going to be booked in jail. She's crying. All right, so then this is just gets in, absolutely insane. She goes into La La Land. So he leaves the room two hours and 23 minutes in, and they, it's two hours and 40 minutes. And then she's just sitting there like this. Nothing terrifying about that. So she's sitting there, and then all like time goes by, and it's in silence, and she goes, You should have at least done your makeup, Jody. Gosh. Which is a little terrifying. And then she starts singing. I didn't hear you breathe. I wonder why I'm still here. I didn't. And it's just like, you couldn't write a horror movie character. She's sitting there with her long, scary horror movie hair. Just like, ah. I didn't hear you breathe. So she sings that song. And I think I saw in the uh, Shanna Huber's, like a documentary about her, about singing. She sings Amazing Grace after they interrogate her, after she killed her boyfriend. And there's theories on like the, uh, like the type of singing, like when you're just in an interrogation room, like Amazing Grace. Or it's like it could be them in shock, unable to handle the situation, trying to calm themselves down. Or it could be sort of a psychotic break where they just have lost it a little bit. And then Jody goes through the trash. And then she'll do this thing where she's sitting there and then she'll burst out laughing. She'll just be like... (laughs) Which is terrifying. Um... And she'll burst out, one time she burst out laughing and goes, <laughs> goodness. And, uh, and then she does a handstand. Why not? She just does a handstand. I don't know. Um, then she pulls out the printer paper. Sure, why not? Measure a little time. 
Then she puts the printer uh, paper back. And then she starts singing Oh Holy Night. I'm not going to sing it because it was in my head for two days and it's late April and I just looked insane. Huh, then she pulls out the printer paper again. Then she bursts out laughing because, of course. Um, and she's laughing and then she starts writing something on the printer paper with something that she pulled out of the wall. If you know what that is, she like unplugs something or pull and then she uses it to write and then she plugs it back in. I don't know what it is. Um, so she writes something on the printer paper while laughing. And then it's the last thing I want to talk about on this Jody coverage. I'll probably take a break after... The, I'll, I'm going to take a break after this video and then probably the next time we get into Jody, I'll... when she's getting cross-examined by Juan. But um, her mugshot... Mugshot... Her mugshot after... They arrested her after this interrogation is she's like she's like smirking and then I thought it, it says a lot to her mugshot way later after the I think after she's found guilty her she looks like this she went from this to this she just you could tell her face the t if you want to see time measured check out Jody's face in between mugshots you can see a little time well, people, I'm done with Jody for a little bit. We measured the time. She didn't kill Travis at all in her life, except that she did. And thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed and commented. I hope you had a fun Easter. I hope you measured the time and it's not going too quickly. True Crime Loser, out. The hire was there, Jody.